Today we're going to carve a bone-in ham, you guys. It's not as difficult as it seems. It's uh, the whole ham. You're not going to find anything this natural, this unprocessed. This is the way they used to do it in the old days. It's the best thing to serve your guests. Keep in mind of a couple things. There's two main bones in here. One is the H bone, A-I-T-C-H. It's part of the hip bone. There it is, right? The femur bone runs, runs about this way. So I'm going to show you where it is here with my knife. So I can hit the bone there. So we're going to remember that when we carve it, we're going to cut out some boneless pieces and then we're going to carve those separately. So we're going to take a bone in ham, make it into a boneless ham. So start right at this H bone, go all the way to the cutting board with a sharp knife, follow the bone, go all the way to the table. Come back to the femur bone. Be careful, the knife's pointing at you. Follow the, turn your knife, follow the femur bone. Go all the way to the table. Then go back all the way down. And I got this large five pound piece of boneless meat now we can work on. Do the same thing, remember the bone right here. So I'm gonna come down at the H bone again. Go straight down. I take off a large piece of meat for to work on later. We we'll do that one more time. Again, you just follow the bone, taking off these large pieces. So we'll work on this later. There's a lot of meat on there yet. We can use this for bean soup, salads, eggs, and whatnot, but we'll do that later. I like to take these big pieces, cut them in half. I like to, like to pre-trim them a little bit so the folks don't have to do it on their plate. You always want to cut across the grain. Look at the grain here, it's the uh, cross section. This is more the other way. So you just cut your slices, keep them neat and appetizing. Keep them presented in a nice way so it looks neat for your folks. Cross the grain. And you can't go wrong. If you get the grain the wrong way, it's just not as tender, but it's still excellent. One thing about ham, you always want to cook it with moist heat. Don't overcook it. 130 or so is good. Covered dish is good. And as long as you don't open the ham, don't freeze it. Once it's open, you can freeze it if you have to, but freezing is not a friend of ham. It won't hurt it, it just makes it less juicy, less succulent when you eat it. Keep your knife sharp, keep the slices oriented nice so it displays well, presents well, is appetizing for everybody. Just looks nice. Kind of keep track of where your grain, where your grain is. And so all I'm doing is cutting up boneless heat meat now. It, all the hard work's done. In closing, folks, you can't do it wrong. Don't be afraid, jump right into it. I make it look easy, it's because it is easy. Enjoy, you guys.